From trapping insects, spiders and tadpoles to plants eating shrews and salamanders, here are 13 incredible carnivorous plant species. Number 13. Venus flytrap This is arguably the best known carnivorous plant on the list, so let's start with it. It's native to the US and is known to have an appetite for insects, which inspired its common name. In addition to flies, it also has a taste for beetles, grasshoppers and spiders. In some cases, they've even trapped frogs. The trapping mechanism is constructed by sections of its leaves. When prey lands on the leaves and touches a hair trigger, the trap begins to close. It takes another contact being triggered within 20 seconds of the first to ensure the fly trap shuts completely. It's an efficient triggering system which ensures the plant wastes no excess energy in capturing suitable prey. Before the prey is digested, another five stimuli will make the final judgement regarding its nutritional value. Did you know the Venus flytrap inspired the monster plant in the 1986 film Little Shop of Horrors? Number 12. Dewey Pine Also known as the Portuguese sundew, this species is native to Spain, Portugal and Morocco. They can grow in dry soil, which makes them unique among carnivorous plants. While most sundews can move their leaves, this genus has leaves that coil outward from a central rosette. The leaves can measure up to 16 inches long, 40 centimeters, and are covered with a sticky secretion. Once they've been attracted by the sweet aroma, the secretion immobilizes the prey until they die after struggling to escape. Number 11. Bibley these small carnivorous plants are native to Western Australia and were first described in the early 19th century. They have a resemblance to the sundews and are distantly related, but this genus is recognised by its five curved stamen and symmetrical flowers. The leaves secrete a mucus-like substance, similar to other specimens on the list. When insects land, they're trapped and covered by the adhesive and eventually die of asphyxiation or exhaustion. Not unlike butterworts, this genus has sessile glands that produce substances which aid digestion. Did you know the name Bibli refers to a goddess of Greek mythology? When her heart was broken, she cried glistening tears, and the droplets of this plant are thought to resemble them. Number 10. Bladderworts There are more than 200 species of these plants, and they're found just about everywhere except Antarctica. They can be terrestrial or aquatic, where they show up in streams and ponds. Their name is a reference to the traps they use, which resemble bladders. They have a sophisticated construction and are connected to sensitive hairs. When prey brushes against the hairs, the trapdoor springs open and sucks in the victim along with any water surrounding it. Terrestrial species have smaller traps that can catch tiny organisms like protozoa. Aquatic species are able to catch larger prey like young tadpoles. For either species, the entire process of triggering the bladder and trapping the prey takes between 10 to 15 milliseconds. Number 9. Brochinea reducta Can you imagine a carnivorous pineapple? That's not the case here, but these plants are bromeliads and belong to the same family as pineapples. Experts say they're one of the few carnivorous members of the group and are native to South America. It's adaptable enough to grow in soils that are low in nutrients and to grow on rocks by using its anchors as roots. Tightly overlapping leaves form a cup that stores sweet-smelling water. That serves as a lure for insects like ants. Prey is also attracted by the ultraviolet light that reflects off the waxy leaves. Scales on the leaves are slippery enough that victims can't maintain their footing and will slide into the water and drown. Enzymes and bacteria combine to digest the plant's meal. Number 8. Butterworts There are around 80 known species of these plants, most of which are found in South and Central America, followed by Europe and North America. Experts say they trap insects as a way to supplement the lack of mineral nutrition found in their environments. Their trap mechanism is comprised of two specialised glands. The first secretes a mucilage that contains digestive enzymes that appears like droplets on the leaf surface. The name butterwort is a reference to those glistening leaves. Insects and other prey are attracted by the droplets, which is a similar strategy to that of sundews. Upon landing, more mucilage is released from reservoirs and covers the prey. That triggers the second glands, called sessile glands. They produce enzymes that further break down the digestive parts of an insect's body. Once that material has been absorbed, only the insect's exoskeleton remains on the leaf surface. Number 7. Waterwheel Plant Its common name is a reference to the appearance of its traps. They're arranged in concentric rings around a free-floating stem in the centre. 
experts say the traps are similar to Venus flytrap and are used to capture small aquatic invertebrates. As soon as the prey approaches, two lobes will enclose the victim when it's near enough in a snap trap. Closing at a rate of 20 milliseconds, it's one of the fastest examples of plant movement ever described. By contrast, a Venus flytrap takes about 100 milliseconds to spring its trap. The waterwheel plant is unique for a few other reasons as well. It's an aquatic and rootless species that is widely distributed from Europe and Asia to Africa and Australia and its populations often coincide with the migratory routes of birds. That's because the plants stick to birds' feet and are transported to aquatic destinations along their route. But experts say that this plant species is becoming increasingly rare and is listed as endangered. Number 6. Sundews These are among the larger carnivorous plants, with the nearly 200 species described so far. They capture and digest their prey by luring them in with their tentacles which have glands covering the surface. The glands secrete a thick substance called mucilage which traps the prey. The plant's name stems from the glistening droplets of mucilage that look like drops of morning dew. Some species of this plant have tentacles that can essentially snap when prey disturbs them. The appendages will rapidly coil up then snap forward and bend inward to bring the prey into contact with as many stalked glands as is possible. Did you know that sundew plants have been used for medicinal purposes since at least the 12th century? In addition to cough suppressants, the plants have been used to treat sunburn, toothaches and asthma. Number 5. Monkey Cups These carnivorous tropical pitcher plants get that name because monkeys have been observed drinking rainwater from them. There are around 170 species found from China to Malaysia and from Madagascar to Australia. As their name suggests, pitcher plants have a jug-like appearance and secrete a nectar along the rim which attracts prey. The upper pitcher contains a syrupy fluid that drowns its prey, while the lower portion has glands which extracts nutrients. After prey is lured in by the plant's scent and coloration, it usually slips and falls into the pitcher. Prey typically includes insects, but some species can catch larger victims, as you'll find out in the next segment. Number 4. Adumbra's Pitcher Plant A large species of tropical pitcher plant native to the Philippines was found growing at the summit of Mount Victoria. When it was described in 2009, it made news for allegedly preying on rats. They claim turned out to be speculation due to the large size of the plant's pitchers. They have a volume exceeding 1.5 litres and traps of more than 2 litres. Because it has no lid, it was thought that an animal the size of a rat could enter the pitcher and drown. But a few years later, it was proven that the plants did indeed trap and prey on vertebrates. In 2012, the remains of a shrew was found in one of these specimens. After the plant's digestive enzymes had done their work, only skeletal remains of the shrew were left. Did you know this species was named after the British broadcaster and naturalist Sir David Attenborough? Number 3. Saracenia Not all pitcher plants look like pitcher plants. Here's a genus that comprises up to 11 species that is mostly found from the US into Canada. And while they are carnivorous, these plants appear more like a normal flower species. That's how these North American pitchers can fool their prey. Towards the end of summer, the leaves attract flies by turning a deep purplish red colour. The trap lies within the hollow vertical tubes which have a hood-like structure that covers the entrance. Nectars and scents to attract prey are secreted on top. Once attracted, the slick sides of the tube prevent prey from escaping a pool of water where they will be immobilised and drowned. Did you know that some species are large enough to trap small fish and tadpoles? Number 2. Turtle Socks Following up on Saracenia, let's look at a plant within that genus which made headlines in 2019. Biologists in Canada discovered that a species commonly called turtle socks not only preyed upon invertebrates like spiders, ants and insects, these plants also feast on juvenile spotted salamanders. The discovery was made by accident during a field study in Ontario's Algonquin Park. After a researcher saw a small amphibian in the park, a further survey revealed that one-fifth of the carnivorous species in the park had trapped at least one juvenile salamander. It's widely considered to be the first occurrence of North American plants consuming a vertebrate. It's still not known what role salamanders might play in the plant's nutrition, or why the amphibians are lured in to begin with. What do you think? Number 1. Cobra Lily These plants get their common name due to their resemblance to the snake rearing to strike. Along with the serpentine shape of its tubular leaves, the plant also has a forked leaf that looks like a cobra's fangs. Even though it doesn't appear so, these are a species of pitcher plant found in Northern California and Oregon that grow in cold mountain streams. 
Instead of having traditional pitcher to collect rainwater, cobra lilies absorb water by pumping it from its roots. Insects are trapped by downward pointing hairs and lubricating agents that make it impossible to escape. These plants have translucent false exits that fool the prey into thinking they can make a break for it. Instead, they exhaust themselves and fall into the trap and drown. Experts say these pitcher plants are a rare species and there's still a lot to be learned about them. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.